helps to prevent forest fires. Okay? This says, this is my story. A tiny bear cub was very happy in his forest in New Mexico. See him playing? What's he doing? He's chasing a butterfly. All happy. It says, one day in 1950, a careless person started a fire in the cub's forest. He started a fire. It says, someone called the ranger station while the cub climbed up a tree to save his life. See the little cub running from the fire? You guys see that? It says, firefighters fought the fire. The bear cub was rescued. Went up the tree and got him. It says, a firefighter gently cared for the scared and injured cub. An animal doctor, a veterinarian, cured the cub's wounds. Because even though he climbed up that tree, he still got some fire. Be careful. It says, they called the cub Smokey Bear and moved him to a new home at the National Zoo in Washington, D.C. He will always be the guardian of the forest. So that's how Smokey Bear became Smokey Bear. It says, wildlife, wildfire prevention has five rules. You know Smokey's five rules? We're going to learn them here real quick. Smokey wants you to know the five rules of fire prevention. Rule number one, only you can prevent fire, wildfires. Okay? And that's by knowing all of his rules. Rule number two, always be careful with fire. Rule number three, never play with matches or lighters. Does your mommy and daddy ever tell you that? Never play with fire. They say don't play with the matches or any lighters. Right, because it can be dangerous. It says rule number four, always watch your campfire. And rule number five, make sure your campfire is out completely before leaving it. So if you ever start a fire for a camp, you don't ever want to leave it until it's completely out. Okay? So those are Smokey Bear's rules. You know, it's really good to make friends with him, and, and whenever you see him, of course, in a parade or something, you got to make sure you yell at him say, Smokey, and he'll remember you, I guarantee it. He always remembers you. And he takes it. He's a very friendly bear, and you can always come up and shake his hand, and, and he'll shake your hand and give you a big bear hug whenever he sees you. Y'all have any questions about Smokey? You know what he eats? He eats a lot of berries and twigs. And sometimes, if he can get some fish when he's out west, he'll eat some salmon too sometimes. You know, that's what most bears like to eat. He likes to fill his belly. Don't you, Smokey? Yeah, he likes to get hold of. But, uh, you know, mostly twigs and stuff like that and berries. He loves berries. Don't you love berries? Yeah, blueberries, raspberries. You like strawberries? Yeah, he eats strawberries too. It's pretty good. Y'all like strawberries? Oh, yeah, I figure you might. He does too. So, and, uh, all right. Uh, Smokey's going to give you a hug, I think, Smokey wants to do. Y'all want some hugs from Smokey? Huh? Come on up. 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 You can shake his hand, you can give him five, you can give him a hug.
but you need to make sure that the battery is, is new. And there's two times a year that you need to change your battery. Each time the time changes, and that's coming up at the end of October, you need to make sure put a brand new battery in because the battery should be good for at least six months. Also, if your smoke alarm has been up on the ceiling for a long time, you need to take it down and dust it off and make sure that these places are all nice and clean so that it will be able to smell the smoke. Open this up, and we have to come up here to reconnect one and pull it. 